Well, how are you today, Julia? No different from yesterday or the day before. I still have strong reservations about your plans. And I intend to go through with them. There is much to be done between now and tomorrow. I thought Dr. Lang was fully prepared. He is, but there are several matters that I must attend to before I begin my new life. And on one of them, I must ask your help. Oh, I'll do anything for you. You know that. Anything, Julia? What do you mean? Well, I know that you haven't been uh, around the Windcliffe Sanitarium lately, but you still uh, make decisions regarding your patients, don't you? Yes. Good. I want you to arrange for the release of Willie Loomis. Willie Loomis. Oh, Barnabas, I can't get him released from Windcliffe. But you just said you could. Well, yes, of course I can, but, but... But what? Why do you want him released? I could answer that by asking why not. You receive periodic reports on his condition, don't you? Yes. And haven't you been told that he's uh, making rapid improvement? Rapid improvement doesn't mean that he's completely sane. Well, how long ago did you receive the last report? About a month. Well, with the rate he's improving, a month could be a lot. He could be perfectly normal by now. Or he could be a very disturbed man, possibly even a dangerous man. Dangerous? Oh, my dear Julia, that's the last thing that Willie could ever be. You still haven't answered the first question I asked you. And what was that? Why do you want Willie released? Well, isn't that obvious? No, it isn't. Uh, Julia, the, the poor man was shot down by the police, accused of murder. He was judged to be insane and confined to a mental institution, all because of me. But you had no way of knowing that he was going to try to warn Maggie Evans about you? Even so. But I feel responsible for what's happened to poor Willie. He's been very much on my conscience. Your conscience? You say that as if you believed I didn't have one. Well, I do. And I want to clear it before I change my life. Are you sure that's the only reason you want Willie released? Now, what other reason could there be? I don't know. But I find it interesting that you've never had pangs of conscience before regarding Willie or anyone else. Is it inconceivable to you that I could uh, do an act of kindness? Everyone's capable of performing an act of kindness. But let's be honest about it, Barnabas. With you, it isn't, shall we say, characteristic. You know perfectly well I've always been very fond of Willie. You've also been very cruel to him. Julia, are you going to grant me my request or aren't you? Well, I can't say yes or no at this moment, but Barnabas. Why not? Because I don't know if, it, if it's practical or possible to have him released. It is both. How do you know? You haven't seen any progress reports. You haven't even bothered going to the hospital to visit Willie. Which is why I find your conscience pang so curious. Julia, you're forgetting that until recently I was unable to function at any other time but the night. Now, surely I couldn't have gone to Wincliffe in the middle of the night to ask to visit one of the patients there. I could have arranged it. You never asked. Julia. I've asked you a favor, I gave you my reasons, now I want an answer. All right. I will call Wincliffe and have them to send a progress report. But that will take several days. I'm sorry. It's the best I can do. Besides, a report won't be as effective as our own eyes and ears will be. What does that mean? I suggest that we go to Windcliffe today, you and I, and talk to Willie and make our own decision. Why today? Well, because there is little time before Dr. Lang's experiment. And if there's one thing I want to do, I want to do this for Willie right now. Now, it will only take a few hours to go out to Windcliffe, talk to Willie, 
and drive back. Now, is that too much to ask, Julia? Well, is it? All right. Let's go to Wincliffe today. <laughs> Well, where is he? The nurse will bring him in a moment. Now remember, you agreed to accept my decision. Yes, yes. And I want you to try to behave toward him as you would under normal circumstances. Well, what do you mean? I don't want you asking any leading questions. Julia, don't try to intimidate me. I'm not. I just want to make it clear that my concern is for what is best for Willie, not what is best for you. Miss Jackson, you may leave. I'll let you know when we're ready. Willie? Don't you remember me? It's Barnabas. I haven't seen you in such a long time, Barnabas. Then you do recognize me. Yes. Do you remember where you lived before you came here? The old house. You remember, don't you? Sometimes I think about the old house. Do you have pleasant thoughts about it? Yes. Would you like to go back to the old house, Willie? Barnabas, go back? I, I, I keep wondering when I'll, I'll go back. Willie, Willie, we came here today to ask you some questions. Questions? Yes, because we're concerned about you. Well, you concerned? Well, why? Because you've been here now for a few months, and the doctors say you've shown remarkable progress, and there is a chance that you might be able to leave here. Huh. Where would I go? I would like you to come back with me, Willie. Barnabas, please let me ask the questions. Are any more questions necessary? Obviously, he's quite himself again. I will make that decision now. Now, Willie, I want you to tell me how much you can remember of the time before you came here. Well, I remember I used to work for Barnabas at the O House. Do you remember why you were brought here? Maggie Evans. What about Maggie Evans? Wait a minute, let me think. Yeah, it was at night. And I went to her house. And there was a lot of men outside. Policemen. I wanted to tell her something. What did you want to tell her? I, I, I've been trying to remember that. Willie, how would you feel about leaving here? Leaving here? Yes, would you like to leave here? <laughs> 